Hello everyone. Welcome to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series. Today we will discuss about nucleases. Nucleases. So they are nothing but phosphodiesterase. Means nucleases have a ability to break down the phosphodiester bond. Hence they are called as phosphodiesterases. And they are a, have a ability to break down the nucleic acids into smaller fragments or nucleotides that they, they are end products. They are also called as nucleases. So nucleases are enzymes which can break down the nucleic acids. Hence they are named as nucleases. Okay. So now we see the we will see some uh, important uh, characteristic features of nucleases, right? So you see, nucleases catalyzes cleavage of phosphodiester bond. What they do? They can break down the phosphodiester bond, which is which is a backbone of nucleic acid. Each nucleotide is connected. To the other nucleotide through the phosphodiester bond. That phosphodiester bond is cleaved, cleaved by a, an enzyme called as nucleases. Right? Based on their mode of action, they are classified into two categories. So, based on their mode of action, where they act, whether they act within the nucleic acid or at the end of nucleic acid. Based on that, they are classified into two categories. First one is endonucleases. The second category is exonucleases. So endonucleases, you see, they break down the phosphodiester bond within the nucleic acid and make it into smaller fragments. What they do is endonucleases, they break down the phosphodiester bond of nucleic acid and they start that cleavage at the within the nucleic acid, right? So the second one is exo means terminal, endo means within, exo means terminal or at ends. So active at the ends of nucleic acid, ends of nucleic acid, and cleaves one at a time from the ends of from the ends, either three prime or five prime. So the exonucleases activate the ends of nucleic acid, maybe five prime phosphate end or three prime OH, and they cleave the nucleic acid one nucleotide at one time. Means one nucleotide by one nucleotide will be degraded. One phosphodiester one will be cleaved, then followed by the successive one. Right? So they are called as exonucleases. And if they act within the DNA, and they are called as endonuclease. So the endonuclease acts within the DNA, exonuclease acts at the terminal or ends of the nucleic acid. You can see the figure here. You see, these are the this is one of the examples of endonuclease. You see, this is a duplex DNA. They are cutting within the nucleic acid. They are cutting within the nuclei, in, in the middle, you see, and uh, that result into the smaller DNA fragments, right? When it comes to the exonuclease, you see, this is an example of I have given an example. You see, this is a five prime end, and this is three prime end. The nucleus are acting at the ends of nucleic acid, and they divide, they are cleaving the one nucleotide from the substrate at a one time, right? One nucleotide at a time, right? So you see, you can see the exonuclease cleaving the either prime, five prime end or three prime end, one nucleotide, which releases a C, if it cleaves here, it is guanine, and it cleaves at the three prime end of, and clean cleaves in A and T, you see? This is how they operate, endonucleases and exonucleases. The 
classes of nucleases. So they can be either proteins or RNA, catalytic RNA. Nucleases are very diverse group and include both proteins and catalytic RNA. Nothing but ribozymes. They are involved in different physiological functions, right? Some of them are very important reagents in RDNA technology. Nucleases are diverse group. They can be enzymes, means most of the time you think that there are only proteins. But here, there is a specific, uh, a specific enzyme that is a ribozyme, that's a RNA, which can, which is a catalytic RNA, which can degrade the RNA molecule, right? So RNA, which is degrading the RNA, hence it's called as a nucleus. So ribozyme, right? So these nucleases have a different physiological functions in the prokaryotes and eukaryotic cells. For example, at the same time, some of these nucleases are very, very important reagents in uh, RDNA technology, maybe in cloning or maybe in sequencing, right? Or maybe in the side direct mutagenesis or cDNA synthesis. So they are important reagents in RDNA technology. So you can see the first class is restriction endonuclease. So they are belongs to the nucleases, especially they belongs to the endonucleases. They can cut within the DNA. And you see one more, uh, one is DNases. Means have a ability to degrade the DNA, right? RNases, DNases are useful in the degradation of uh, uh, DNA, foreign DNA. Uh, they are, DNA is also useful in the, apopto in the apoptosis. Cells which are undergoing the apoptosis, they are used physiologically, that's the relevance of DNAs. And RNAs is, which they have the ability to degrade the RNA. So endonuclease are used in the cloning and DNAs are used in the uh, probe preparation and uh, uh, identification of transcription, transcription factor binding sites in the DNA and they are also used in the uh, uh, you know, preparation of uh, uh, DNA fragments for uh, sequencing and, uh, and they are also very useful in the preparation of RNA to avoid the DNA contamination. RNAs are used in the DNA preparation and they can cleave the RNA. S1 nucleus, one more nucleus, which S stands for single strand. It can degrade RNA and DNA, which is single strand only. And the S1 nucleus is useful in the cDNA synthesis. Topo isomerases, so they are involved in the replication and the path, they resolves the supercoiling. So the topo isomerases based cloning kits also develop. And RNA splicing enzymes, they are known in the splicing of RNA. And the ribozymes, they cut the RNA, RNA cuts the RNA. Re recombinases, they are used in the, they are involved in the recombination, homologous recombination. They also cut the DNA. Exonuclease 3 and exonuclease 7. So exonuclease 3, is have a speciality which can uh, start the uh, degradation or give uh, the DNA at three prime end. At a three prime end, it's exonuclease seven is a special enzyme which can act on only single strand DNA. So this is all about uh, nucleases and their classes and the examples and the application of the RDNA technology. If at all you like it, just subscribe for regular updates. Thank you all. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. That's Dr. K. Prem Primer. See you all with you one more video. Until then, bye-bye.